You just say wins. Wins. Oh, is it already recording? <laughs> it is already Yeah, recording. it is recording. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the Goodview Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and in this video we're going to show you what I'm going to do to finish the bottom of the table. You guys keep asking me, how do you finish the bottom? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how I finish the bottom. And what we're going to start off with is we're going to use some acetone because, ice, if you, as you know, isopropyl alcohol is getting scarce because of COVID. Um, so uh, we will use acetone instead, it's still okay as long as it fully evaporates. We're going to go ahead and wipe the dust off this thing, okay? Nothing special. Just saturate the rag and wipe it down. Okay, now that we got most of the dust off the table, we're going to take um, our painter's tape. We're gonna go around the perimeter of the table. I want to show you these right here. So if you can see this like white stuff, this is just caulk left over. Um, we're gonna actually bevel this bottom edge with a router. So it's gonna cut that all off. But we're, we're gonna go ahead and seal the bottom of the table first before we do that. Um, so we're using our painter's tape as a border to fill up, you know, give us a little bit of thickness of this epoxy. We're gonna be using the casting epoxy. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and just spread it spread it around and get a little bit of a layer here um, it does not matter if it gets on this like i said because we're cutting it off okay um, so don't worry about that So this tape border, it's not going to fully protect it from seeping under. It may, it may not. It's okay though. We're not trying to fully keep it. Uh, we, we don't want it to seep through, but it's not a big deal if it does because we can sand the edges. This is just keeping us from having to do a lot more work. Okay. So if it's, if it seeps over, we're going to have to sand the edges and all that stuff. I'm just trying to not have to do that <laughs> several times. Okay. All right. So now that it's all taped up, we'll go ahead and get our casting epoxy, mix it up. We're gonna do five ounces per square foot. And this thing is nine by four, so that's 36 square feet times five. What is that? I don't know. It's ah. a lot. No. Mm. That's your job. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay, so because I don't know exactly how much is in this bottle, we're going to use the graduated cup to measure it and then we'll pour it directly in the five gallon bucket. Um, it's a two to one mixture and so we need to see how many ounces of the hardener we have and then we'll double it uh, for the epoxy. Okay, so we have about, let's see what this is. We have just a hair over, let's see, we got about 52 ounces. Just a little bit under 56. All right, so there's the hardener. Okay. 
Okay, and we'll do two of those uh, with the epoxy. You don't like the Snapple? No, Snapple doesn't pay us to have it in the video. <laughs> That's right. They don't get free advertisement. <laughs> okay, here's one of the epoxy. And we'll do one more of these before we mix it up. Just a little bit more out of another container, that sucks. Forgot to mention we're using our Incredible Solutions pourable plastic. I like this brand, it's a good brand. Thanks, dude. All right, let's get to mixing. Make sure you scrape the bottom and the sides while you're mixing to make sure you get a good mixture. All right, now that we got it mixed up, we're gonna take our handy dandy shower squeegee, which I'll post in the in the down in the description if you guys want to go get some from these Amazon from Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive, a couple bucks. And we'll go ahead and start spreading this on. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is he using casting epoxy? Why wouldn't he use like a tabletop epoxy? And what I've come to find out is, yes, casting epoxy takes longer to set up but it saturates and soaks more into the wood because there's a longer set time. So you have a much stronger bond um, and it stabilizes the wood better. Plus we are, this wood here, it's kind of punky, which means it's kind of has a rottenness to it. And so we want to make sure that it's stable uh, being inside a home, okay? That's why we're using it. Here we go. sit right there for a second here we go all we're doing is we push this stuff around up to the edges but not like over the edges or anything like that 
make sure we take the corner of our squeegee and get all the little bublets. What is that what you call it? Bublets. Bublets. Baby bubbles. Or boublets. Boublets. <laughs> a little bit of uh, all the little white Michael boublets. Michael buble. So that's all we're going to do is we're going to spread this around. It's looking nice. Kind of looks like Umbrella Academy. I'll explain it later. Oh, You okay? <laughs> We are doing this. You want to start from the from the middle, and we're just going to work our way out like we're mowing the lawn. Just, I'm, I'm not even putting any pressure. I'm just barely holding on to the squeegee. Slight taper towards the outside. Nothing to it. Once we get it mostly spread out, we'll then take our notched trowel. And the reason why we want to use that is so that we can actually get it evenly dispersed across the, the table. This was just help to get us, to, this was just used to get it spread out. And now we'll use our notched trowel to get it even. Okay? Look how much cooler it looks already, right? Ew. Okay, so if you look at the notch trowel here, we're gonna use our one eighth by one eighth. Is that it? No, it's a quarter. Anyway, <laughs> we use our one eighth inch deep notch right here. And then we'll use that to spread. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to start from the center and work our way back and forth. Just to get it even. Step back now and I kind of like see it, like me walking back and forth.
Oh no. Okie dokie. All right. Now we're gonna let this sit. That's it, man. That's how, that's how you finish the bottom. Ooh. The grain is really pretty on this, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a painting. All right, we are back. It is fully set up. So now we can pull the tape off. All right, guys, so the bottom is done. See how nice and pretty it looks? The only thing we have to do is we're gonna bevel the edges with our router okay um but you can as you can see top is perfectly smooth really nice or the bottom excuse me the bottom is perfectly smooth you can see wood grain looks really nice So anyway, this is how I finish the bottoms of my tables. Um, so we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do a, a bevel with our router right here. You can see, and at that point, we'll be done with the bottom, and we, the flood coat will then wrap around the bottom edge we just cut. And really, when we're doing the top, it also finishes off the bottom. Okay. It was so tight. It is so tight. You like that? No, I'm talking about the the footage of everything like flying at the camera and some stuff is getting stuck up there. Oh, <laughs> dude, I didn't. No, I got in there. I got in there, but no, I didn't stop. I didn't say go. Oh, stop recording. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is how I finished the bottom of the table. You guys asked for it. You're asking me, how do you finish the bottom of the table? <laughs> because I never show it. Well, this is what I do. So guys, if you see the beveled edge, um, when we go to do the top, we'll round this side over, but when we pour our flood coat, it's gonna roll. It'll roll over this bevel too. And we're gonna tape right against this line right here. When we tape and the flood coat rolls over, the drips land right here. We'll be able to just peel it off. No more drips. Bottom of the table is done. Top of the table is done. And that's it. So guys, if you want to know how to finish the bottom of your table, I recommend this. If you do it this way, you won't need bars uh, to keep it from twisting or moving because you fully sealed the bottom and moisture can't escape from the wood. It can't go into it. It can't escape from it. So it'll stay flat even without bars in the way. Okay, so this is what I would recommend. Obviously, you have to epoxy the top as well. You want to seal both sides. But, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, smash the subscribe button. And, guys, guess what? I'm on Patreon now. So, if you guys want to head over there, check out the Patreon as well, Goodview Woodworks. Um, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for everything you do. 
And as always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging out with us. That's right.